guys, how you doing? So I'm on the Hawkesbury this morning. It's uh, it's pretty early and we're pre-fishing for the Oz Open. Um, what I wanted to show you is, is, I guess I get a lot of questions from guys asking, how do you know where to pitch the crabs or, or what do you do differently to other people when you uh, have some success on crabs? So what I've done this morning is I pulled up to a rock wall. This rock wall's just a general steep, natural rock wall. Looks pretty good. The tide flows on it really, really hard. You got a few bits of rock that stick out and stick in. What I generally do is I motor up, I motor across, and I bring up the side scan. And what I'm looking for is just to see where the pockets and where the rock and sand transition meets. Because it's super important to get your crab right at the bottom of the rock where it meets the sand. Because that's where the fish are looking. So as we come across here and we put some speed on, you can see on this left side scan see these little nooks and crannies and these little pockets it's exactly what i'm looking for to cast my crab into so as i come up here i can see real good pockets and there's a couple of fish right in on that rock so we'll kick it out of gear straight away we'll just drift up here and we'll see if we can throw the crab in today i've got a uh where is it we've got a spotted crab on it's a spotted crab in the uh, 50 mil on a um, six pound braid and a four pound leader. And just, just to see, I'm not too interested in catching too many today, obviously, because it's pre-fish, but um, it'd be good to show you exactly how I sort of break down using the electronics and the crab itself. So, fingers crossed. The uh, weather rock meets the sands about 11 or 12 foot. So, what we plan on doing is just hucking the crab in there, up current, letting it drift down, trying to get it as close as we can to where that rock meets the sand, landing on the sand. If it hasn't been hit by then, give it a little twitch and then hold on tight. The key with these fish is to, especially with the crabs, don't strike them, just wind them on and I let the rod do the work. So hopefully we can pull one off this rod. How's that for a uh, leaning on the smallest brim you've ever seen? So, uh, good good for the example, but um, definitely not the type of fish you want in a tournament. But that's, that's how it goes, guys. Um, usually it's a big one, sometimes it's a small one, but the key is getting that crab right on that rock and sand transition as tight as you can and just holding on. Hope it helps. <laughs> 